Hi and welcome to my video. Today we will be talking about the modern economic wonder of cryptocurrency. What exactly is cryptocurrency? It's a powerful digital currency that's unregulated and uses encryption to generate units that can be used as currency. Every Bitcoin has its own unique code that cannot be duplicated. It's not just something you can simply copy and paste. All people who use Bitcoin have a ledger of all transactions made, so no two people can have the same Bitcoin at the same time. In the early days, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin was only worth a mere few cents. But now in recent years, as more and more people realize the value of a separate online currency, the value of cryptocurrency has skyrocketed. So much so, it's making the stock market bless. There are stories of people who owned a few dollars worth of Bitcoin at the beginning and now they're drowning in money. There are even tragic stories like when someone lost his hardware with million dollars worth of Bitcoin in a landfill and now spent his days trying to retrieve it. As it is impractical to carry around a bar of gold, it is impractical to use a whole Bitcoin to buy something. Therefore, Bitcoin can be broken up to 100 millionth of a Bitcoin, that's 7 zeros behind the decimal. This makes Bitcoin more viable for transactions, especially when you need to buy something over the internet. There are currently two ways of getting your hands on cryptocurrency. You can either buy cryptocurrency in a similar fashion like the stock market, or you can mine it. To mine cryptocurrency, you'll need a computer and use either CPU, GPU, or ASIC to start mining. The most effective method for most people is to use a GPU. I won't get into details on how exactly to start mining, though there are many guides online on how exactly to get started. Companies that sell these components like AMD are making a lot of revenue from cryptocurrency. They recognize that the best way to make a lot of money off a gold rush is not to mine gold, but rather to sell the subtles that are needed to mine. The concept of mining is that miners create new blocks in this giant blockchain. These blocks are created by repeatedly verifying and collecting newly broadcast transactions containing proof of work. The objective is to find a number, also known as a NATCH, so the block is hatched with that number. This work is easy to verify, but extremely time consuming to generate. So you can kind of think that your computer is playing Tetris behind the scenes, only without any Russian music being played. The total amount of Bitcoin that can only be at maximum is 21 million. It is reported that about 14 million Bitcoin are already mined. The Bitcoin protocol has to reward every time a certain amount of blocks is mined. So it becomes more and more difficult to mine Bitcoin as time goes along. It's similar to fishing as in the more you fish out, the less often you get a catch. If you are interested in mining, I need to mind you that it is extremely competitive right now and there are whole companies dedicated solely for the purpose of mining Bitcoin. You could still mine Bitcoin, but do be aware of the cost of electricity while you're mining as you could actually be losing money when you're trying to make some revenue. You could just get a really long extension cord and just go to your neighbor's house, but I wouldn't advise it. There are many different types of cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin like Ethereum and Ripple. There are even joke coins like Kanye West or my favorite, Dogecoin. Bitcoin was the first of its kind and Ethereum's value has been on the rise, even receiving endorsement from Vladimir Putin. There are many other different types of cryptocurrency and they're all considered real currency. The value for every currency however differs widely. One of the advantages of cryptocurrency is that it is immune to inflation as there can only be a fixed amount once fully mined. In this regard, cryptocurrency is often seen similar to precious metals like gold and silver. The only difference though is that it's not really tangible. So unless the apocalypse happens, or even worse, the internet shuts down, cryptocurrency is still a viable form of money. As governments around the world inflate their currency into alternative toilet paper, the value of cryptocurrency will rise over time as there is no inflation rate for cryptocurrency. Please note that cryptocurrency is still subjected to being volatile with many ups and downs. Like how the US dollar was accepted as a universal currency after World War II, cryptocurrency is solely become the universal currency of money all over the world and internet. There is no gold standard behind the currency and no central banker controls it. 
So you and other people across the internet determine its value as a whole. With all of that in mind, I hope you find something informative about the power of cryptocurrency and how it will shape your life and your society. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video to all your friends, family, and pets. Have yourself a nice day.